hello everyone thanks again for tuning in and i hope you enjoy this video as well and take some value from what i'm going to share with you in today's video i'm going to use think or swim or toss t-o-s uh, that's very commonly used uh, abbreviation that people use online for platform that is thinkorswim if you don't know tos is the short for thinkorswim i'm sure you know it and if you are looking for pre-market movers thinkorswim has a lot to offer and it's one of my favorite platform and commonly used platform for most of traders especially if you are uh using this for charting scanner is one of my favorite easy to use and also uh, i would say pretty accurate at least as far as i know so today i'm going to use it as pre-market movers or uh pre-market i guess uh, gap gappers so make sure you're on uh are on a tab of a scan uh simply click on stock hacker these are other stuff that i'm gonna share with you later on but uh stock hacker is where the uh scanner for stock basically being scanned and uh, this is what i usually do for my scanner uh if you go on the add filter on the right uh right section on in this area you see stock option fundamental study and pattern if you are using this platform uh, in a paper trading you won't be able to use the fundamental and study it, you have to be in a live uh, account or data in order to be able to use those features okay let's move on and see what we have it here so depending on what kind of pricing or what price range you trade uh, let's say uh, 50 cent would be something that uh, a lot of stock can run or could run for that you know pre-market but a lot of dumpers also do that pump and dump so just be aware of that if you don't know what it is just google it or leave it in common if you need to know about pump and dump stocks so uh here you you put your minimum price i put 50 cent and also the price the max usually those runners are between range of 10, 50 cent to 10 to 15 dollar for the you know for the sake of this video i'm just gonna put 20 and this is basically narrowing it down for this price range but it's up to you this is just demonstration of what i'm putting because it's pre-market usually volume is pretty small but you can always adjust in once the market is open so i usually start with let's say 10 to 50,000 you know 10,000 even 100,000 pre-market would be a good amount so let's try with 100,000 and also this is there's no maximum so if you do this there is only one thing or a couple things that i want to add this is not going to show everything you probably get in a lot of stuff you have to narrow it down because probably you get a lot of uh other stock that moved uh you know for that volume i like to add also another filter and that would be change percentage change which is here I want a stock to be moving at least you know 10% because if it doesn't move 10% there is not much really happening especially for pre-market and once you scan it you see all this stuff showing up one more uh, criteria that I add which is really important is you see that area market change which i already added so you want to add this also for your scanning because otherwise you see uh maybe close from yesterday as well but we want a market change market change would be the 
I guess the closest to the market that just opened so let's let's do that as well and then the reason why I'm saying I'm gonna show you what I mean percentage change which is here here I have so that shows the percentage change it could be from yesterday as well but this is just pre-market so if you see that gear icon here you click on that and then in that area you want to search for mark chain which is here i already have it added here but uh you want to you want to basically have it here so because this is where this is where you can see the pre-market movers so once you add these three uh you can always adjust them adjust them based on the market time and you just save it so if you go on top here you can save or uh, basically name it for what you want so I'm gonna call this free market movers free market movers Since I had it before, I'm just going to name it number one and just save it. So once you save it, as you can see, we only see those market movers because I adjusted this from 10%. As you can see that percentage wise, you can see the percent and I always sort it with volume because sometimes you see some of them are, you know, this is 100,000 volume it may not move much but once the market open you can always go for a million i usually change that to million because that's where we can see uh all the hertz going so once you have this if you go to your uh side watch list you can uh go to your i'm just gonna stretch this up if you go to the option, uh, I mean watch list, you can go to your personal depending on uh, where you saved it. Mine is here, pre-market movers number one because I had pre-market movers here too. So now you click and it should come up here in your list. And now you can uh, go on the chart and then basically see what the market happened and how it's scanned and also which uh, ticker is moving so as you can see here uh, lucid and afrm or afrm afrm is moving these are the percentage change and you can go from here so uh, i hope this helps a lot for those who are looking for market movers or pre-market trading uh, bear in mind um, this over the once the time goes uh, pass passes on this criteria might needs to be adjusted so if you want to really get to the those that are running the most you can put the volume or to see where the crowd is you can put the volume for the higher so you don't see a lot of them that are not moving anyway so in this 1 million you can see this gets weeded out and starts showing the one that has the most volume for instance these are the one that has been running with the most volume you can once you've made adjustment you can go ahead and save it again in here save you don't have to change your name you just resave it it's gonna ask you you already have it you just click and confirm it's okay so now the the result is gonna change on your watch list so if you have any question please feel free to leave it in a comment and if you want to know how to do the uh, option uh, volume or unusual option which is I'm using a lot for uh, if you're option trader so please leave a comment below I can make another video for unusual uh, volume or options 
but for now the pre-market is very useful i use it all the time every day so you may as well use it as well so i hope you like this video and if you have any question as i said leave it in comment thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next video